everybody, welcome back to another Kairos 101 tutorial. Today, we're gonna talk about macros. Now, macros are a fundamental part of being able to execute a lot of different actions on a switcher very quickly with the push of a button. Um, the awesome thing about going from an ATEM system to a system like Panasonic Kairos is that we are able to quickly edit and manipulate our macros uh, in an instant and really be able to logically read out exactly what it's doing and really record a lot of macros very easily uh, using some of the tools available in the creator and on the surface as well. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look about how to use macros for our productions. Uh, to access the macros in Kairos Creator, we go over to macros. Uh, we also we have two different sections. We have control and we have apps. Uh, apps are little applets that you can write um, for functionality with uh, production. I think control is where we want to start. So we have a couple of different uh, sections here, which I've touched on briefly before. We have global macros, which is sort of just your bank of macros. Uh, scene, so per scene macros that you've generated. And then we also have panel macros, which live on the panel surface over here. So to access those, remember, go over to macro, macros one through three. Those are the ones I have for the profile that I'm on, which is number eight. So those exist there. Uh, there are a couple different ways in which I can record a macro. Uh, I can either do it from the panel using the record button, which is down here, or in the upper right-hand corner at any time, uh, this, little, this little button, if I click on it, press record, it's gonna start recording. I can see that um, the panel also changes down here. Uh, you can see that I can add some delay uh, if I need a timed macro, so I can add 300 frames, 500 frames, which is, you know, uh, 10, 15 seconds of delay if I want to on a macro command. Anytime I click on a macro specifically and go up to this record button, it's going to actually add additional code into the macro that already exists there. So I actually have to first create a new macro. So how do I do that? Right click, new macro. I'm gonna call this uh, demo macro, demo LED wall change. Um, all I want it to do is going to be, this is just going to change uh, transition from, uh, I want, when I create this macro, I want it to specifically recall and transition to, let's say the unboxing background that I've shown in previous videos. Currently it's in uh, draft 2021 live um, background, as you can see on camera, all the cameras. Um, but for example, if I need to bail out or if I have a moment where I need to go back to a home base sort of thing, I can easily go to that without having to hunt for it on the surface and look on for the LED wall, uh, for example, um, to change that out specifically. So, uh, and you can see that it's completely blank. If I go to, if I right click and I click on edit, you can see there's no code here and I can run it actually from this menu. I can also manipulate it and type in I could actually code it manually here uh, if I knew all the shorthands, but I don't. And it's much easier if I just run the function that I wanted to perform uh, live. So, and remember, these are all things I would do in pre-pro. This is not, you know, or a setup for a show. I wouldn't do this live um, because that would be rather uh, silly. But let's just say, so I'm on this LED wall here. I'm gonna go ahead and press the record button. That's gonna start the recording process. I'm gonna go over to uh, scenes. I'm gonna to go to LED wall. I'm gonna make sure that actually I'm go to my profile. I'm gonna change a couple things here before I really do this because I wanna use the surface in order to manipulate this. I'm gonna go over to uh, panel profile. I'm gonna change deck two. I'm gonna set delegation to the LED wall scene been changed okay this isn't going to be affecting the macro but uh this kind of configuration is going to be affecting the macro but what i'm going to do next will be uh so i have that configured so i'm going to go back to the led i'm going to go back to the surface here i'm going to use that so my unboxing thing is always going to be clip layer one so i'm going to ready clip layer one that's command and then i'm going to press auto so it dissolves back 
There. And then I'm going to press stop. And so that macro has been recorded. Uh, let's now check the code to see if what we've done makes sense. So back to macros control, um, profile eight, demo LED wall, edit. What I love about the Kairos Creator software here is that it really easily spells out what's happening. If you spend a little bit of time just understanding how uh, it's understanding the layers. So scenes.templates.ledwall.layers.background, like those are just folders within folders. And then all it's really doing is say, set source B as clip player one. And then the next line, call scenes template LED wall type preview transition auto. Now say I wanted to write additional code, say I wanted to put, for some reason I wanted to put uh, some delay in there, which might be handy, um, between when I set the source to when it's called. Uh, all I have to do, I think, what I have to do is press, uh, close this out. I guess I can say record. And then I can go over here. Let me say if I put a 10 frame delay and stop. Hopefully that did it. Let's see the edit. Let's see the code. Wait ticks 10. I'm actually going to move that up. So I do not want to upload that. I'm going to just going to just like I would with a text document. Just going to cut it, paste it. Wait, text 10, so I guess it's 10 frames it's considering, so I can manipulate. That's the line of code there, which I'm sure is spelled more specifically out in the manual if you want to look uh, further into like what lines of code are going to be used for macros. But wait, text 10, um, meaning uh, wait 10 frames. So we can see this uh, in real life. Let me go ahead and change uh, the LED wall again. So it's gonna be kind of short. It's gonna be a third of a second. So it might not really make a difference, but it's gonna feel like a delay. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and press demo LED wall. Yeah, so definitely felt like there was a bit of a longer delay there. I can prove this by um, going to edit again and just making this like 100 frames, which is about three seconds. Uh, again, after I've done that, I'm just gonna press save. And then we go ahead and run this. I can either run it from uh, from this menu here, or, you know, again, on the panel, I have four macros built as reflected in the profile section of this macro um, menu. So let's see. So it should be about, let's say, we're in a 30, 30 frames, so it's about three seconds. So three, 3.3 seconds or so after I press this button, we'll see the background change. So it's going to, and you can actually see this on the surface, uh, we have, let me go ahead and cut that. So we have this rotating thing again, great. And let me change what's in preview for that layer. So I'm just gonna put RAM clip five um, there. So we should see it immediately jump to um, clip player one as per the code. And then three seconds later, it'll transition. So let's keep an eye on the overhead camera while this runs. So click on demo, it moved it over to CP1 immediately. Three, two, one, it transition. So that's a really awesome way to add a little bit of delay so that, you know, if there is something that requires um, that to occur for whatever reason in your transition, you have it there. So I hope you found that informative. I know it was a little bit long-winded, but there is a lot to dive into with macros. Um, very easy to manipulate and explore. I haven't, I've just scratched the surface. I wrote two lines of code. There are tons of things you can do with this, whether that be manipulating PTZ cameras, queuing up different profiles, all that kind of stuff. It's really like anything that you see within the creator software can be instantaneously done in a push of a button, man. That is amazing. That makes me feel like I'm an octopus. I got like eight, ten, eight legs and I can do a whole bunch of stuff now with just the push of a button as long as I spend the time to program it and make sure that all those macros work to the T. Well, thank you guys so much again for watching another Kairos 101 tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to stick around for more Kairos content from us here at LiveX. Thank you guys so much. See you next time.